Welcome back. Thanks once again for joining us. Now, late soccer player Tabang Lebese's family says before his death, Tabang wished to disclose his HIV positive status himself, but he didn't quite get the opportunity. While well, the family has been without him for more than two years now, popularly known as Chilis, the sportsman was indeed hot on the field as he played for clubs such as Kaiser Chiefs, Orlando Pirates, Morocco Swallows, as well as Silver Stars. Or well, Lebese died of AIDS related complications back in February 2012 at the Helen Joseph Hospital. He was just 38 years old. We're now joined by his mother Florence Libisi as well as Mabalani Mfundisi from the Tabang Libisi Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning once again to you. Mami Kawena. I know that no mother wishes to bury any of their children. It's very unnatural. Mm. Usually you would expect to be buried by mm. your child. Mm. How have you coped with the loss, mommy? But funny, why is a Wakulo understand the corner. Very important, Mama Florence, saying that if only Tabang had spoken up front, that he may have still been alive today. Yeah, very important, mommy, speaking about the stigma uh, attached to HIV, saying that we too, as community members, mothers as well, must mm. accept the child. When your child comes forward and says, I'm HIV positive, we ought not to shun them and, 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 and keep them at arm's length, but to accept them. And once we get rid of the stigma, then people can get help and can mm. live a long and healthy mm. life. Mm. Mama, why... Was Tabang not able to disclose? Do you think? I can't say about maybe South Africa. Do you think it's a responsibility for you yeah, to speak? Yeah, it's on it. Yeah, yeah, it's on it. Yeah. Uno kala obona ningwe na hore wa kule, and uno suspect during that time where it could have been HIV. No, next suspect next. The money mora kwa Santa ne ali ko suspect le lomba, and uno plela so uto kofa la chudi ko kana plela ngor mama kiso. Understand. Hmm. Mama Florence saying that yeah. it was at his deathbed that Tabang actually uh, disclosed yeah. his status when it was too late for anybody to do anything. That is when he disclosed that he's HIV positive. And as I said, a uh, little too late for him. Mommy, thank you so very much for sharing that with us. Mama Florence saying she feels that she has the responsibility to tell the world uh, of her child's status now in order to help others and to encourage other mothers to accept their children. Uh, let's speak to the issue of legacy now. What what legacy do you think Tabang left behind? Well, uh, the, the legacy is that uh, we need to do things differently. Um, that which he could do when he was alive, which would have had the most impact, uh, couldn't be done. But for us who are left behind, we have had to take the spear and move on. Mm -hmm. Hence, the Tabang Lebesi Foundation has been started. And its a key responsibility is to support what her mom and the family did mm -hmm. by coming out, disclosing and uh, taking those spears, because sometimes people, uh, you know, take pot shots at those type of things. But uh, we need to be out and uh, ensure that uh, Tabang's legacy as a football player who made the nation uh, smile, uh, mm -hmm. we also do that through the Tabang Levisi Foundation, uh, which will set up a, a, a facility at uh, Borna High School that will uh, encourage young kids from the school and within Orlando East mm -hmm. as well to do the right thing. You know, get we we don't want people to be infected. 
but those that are infected, we want them to live responsibly. And those uh, who uh, are living with those that are infected must also be responsible by supporting them and not discriminating against them. Mm, we often speak of those infected and affected uh, by HIV. And I think in South Africa, most people can at least say, I know a relative or a friend or uh, an associate who's HIV positive. It's, it's that widespread at the moment. Mama speaks about the evolution of treatment that it used to be uh, a, a plethora or a number of, of, of medicines that used to be used, but now a single dose. What do you think still needs to be done? If you could, as, as the foundation, say, I'm going to speak to all the stakeholders, government, civil society, what's the one thing that needs to be done? The one thing that needs to be done is that we need to take this fight to where it is, where people are. Uh, you know, we can't have an HIV AIDS corner somewhere. We need to be in the sports uh, stadiums and mm. talk to people. We need to be in the nightclubs. We need to be yeah. in the party places. Effectively, mm -hmm. what we need to do is to take HIV to the people. To the streets. And continue talking. Because right. it is through talking that uh, we will make the greatest impact. Thank you so very much for joining us, Mami. Rale oh, Thank you, you so very much to Thank the you, both of you. We're going to cross to Leanne now. She continues with this discussion. HIV AIDS shelter in Haven is where you can find Leanne this morning. Leanne, hello to you.